Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your very own NFT pixel art for free with absolutely no costs at all. This means no Photoshop, no Illustrator, no paid programs. Everything is free and online. The tutorial is going to be incredibly noob friendly so even if this is your first time creating art at all, you will not be lost at all because I'm going to be going through everything very thoroughly so you understand exactly how you can create these and upload them to OpenSea and Solana. Before we do get into that, if you guys would go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out and grows my channel. I also want to continue growing the NFT community space on YouTube, so that would be huge if you guys could subscribe as I've been posting a ton of NFT related content over the past couple days. But yeah, let's get right into this pixel art tutorial. So you've probably known or seen seen all over OpenSea, a majority of these NFT collections are actually pixelated pictures instead of illustrated pictures with let's say like a pen tool like the board ap yacht club that is not pixelated however crypto punks and many many more collections are pixelated and that seems to be the growing trend within these nft communities is that a lot of these collections are pixelated and that's probably why you're on this video right here because you want to learn how to create your own nft pixel collection so i'm going to be showing you guys the easiest method and what you want to do is find your base photo so what i like to do is go to google and search up what I want my pixel to be. So for this tutorial, we're gonna be creating some pixelated sauce bottle NFTs. So I'm just gonna search up cartoon sauce bottle and then I'm gonna look for a reference photo. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, just a base photo. And honestly, I like this photo right here. So we're just gonna save that to our computer. And then you wanna visit a site called resizeimage.net. This is because the photo that you downloaded is probably going to be a very large size and you wanna make it smaller for when you create that artwork online. So what you want to do is scroll to the bottom until you see the resize your image part and you want to tick off keep aspect ratio and then select 32 by 32. This might smush your image a little bit but that should be fine as we're not actually using the base image we're just using it to trace out. Then make sure it's on PNG and then select resize image and bam you just want to select download image and it will download to your computer and then we can go on to the final website that you'll need and that is pixelart.com. So you can open that up and then select start drawing you don't need to create an account and then you're going to get this blank canvas page you just want to go over to open image and then find that image that you resize and then okay so bam as you can see this is our stock photo this is the base sauce bottle design that we're going to be using honestly you might not even need a reference photo however i'm not a natural artist so i'll be using one for the sake of this tutorial so the first thing you want to do is add a new layer you can do by hitting the plus icon right here then what i like to do is just trace out the reference photo that I grabbed with a black dark outline. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I feel like the really black outline makes everything pop more in pixel art. Some people disagree and they don't like an outline. However, I personally think it makes everything just look that much better. So obviously you wanna keep everything symmetrical and all I'm doing is holding down on the mouse and dragging across. All right, so once we have our base layer finished, we can just call that base by double clicking the layer. And then we wanna create another layer and this will be the inside fill. But before doing that, we actually wanna design maybe some of the eyes or at least see where the positioning of these eyes are going to go obviously they don't need to be perfect they just need to be a reference now something important to note is if you ever mess up on this website you can actually right click and that gets rid of your mistake okay so i have the eyes done right there and we're just going to rename that to eyes next up is the mouth which will make purple and we'll just create a nice little area box of where our mouth will be at. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Then the last layer we're going to be adding is the actual base red background of the sauce bottle. So obviously we want that layer behind the mouth and the eyes. So we're just gonna drag that down till it's below the base. We're gonna find a red we like and color in the inside of the design. Next up, we can actually remove that background reference photo since we no longer need it by just deleting the layer. So let's say we want a different background than this white boring background. Fix that up by selecting the bucket tool and then selecting the color you want over here and then pressing down and bam, you get that nice background. Okay, so we have the base done. Obviously it doesn't look fantastic. We don't have the light glares in pixel art that make everything look fantastic. But if this is the base stock photo, 
that you want to run with maybe you don't want it to look as high end as these other sauce bottles or other designs whatever you're working with that's okay but we're going to try and fancy this up a bit Now a tip I really like to use is light and dark. This is the easiest design tip I can teach to noobs. And basically when trying to create the lights and darks of your background color, in this instance red, I would just easily pick a side and one side make it one darker than the base color. So this, as you can see, is a little bit darker. And then on the left side, we have a bit lighter and obviously it's not going to be perfect it's not going to be the best design of all time however it works and that's all that matters it spices up the photo a lot and it doesn't require a lot of design knowledge so this is pretty much it obviously it's not the best pixel art because i just created this in 10 minutes for the sake of a tutorial but one more thing you can do is actually create a gradient background which is very cool in my opinion i think it just spices things up instead of having a plain background i don't know Maybe it's a little too hectic though in your opinion. You can just play around with literally anything and everything within this pixel art program. It is fantastic for creating pixel art. But once you're done with your NFT, what you can do is select download and then download.png and bam, it'll be saved to your computer and you can upload it to OpenSea or Solana. Now, if you're curious as to how people upload 10,000 plus NFTs at once, look no further as I uploaded a video about a week ago on my YouTube channel that explains thoroughly on how you can do that. Although you probably will want to use a better photo editing software than pixel art the tutorial is still up and i highly suggest you guys check it out well that's going to conclude it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to the channel so we can hit 100,000 subscribers that's the end goal and have yourselves a fantastic day peace see you later Thanks.